Valdemar Rasi, without Razuman, without Razuman, Valdemar Rasi. Maybe I will try again. <laughs> okay, right now uh, this speech is humorous because some someone la uh, laughed at least for for a moment. <laughs> uh, as I said, uh, one small white lie that I'm not nervous right now, and I'm calm. Mm. Uh, once I read that I should follow my bliss. What does it mean? It means that I should improvise. I will tell you the truth. I prepared the speech, but uh, Jerzy told me the best way to win this part is to count. Just watch in my eyes and I will count. Adin, dwa, tri, cztery. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the title of, of my speech without resume. Why such title? Are there any people from marketing or are there any people who work in marketing? Yes. In finance? In IT? <laughs> yes, I like it. In uh, HR? HR? Okay, one, I, I have one question. What, what does HR stand for? Wh what, is, wh what is it, HR? Human resources. Human resources, yes, it is. We've got resources. We've got computers, coal, cattle, cows. Moo! <laughs> you know, uh, I used to be a resource. I used to be a resource, a very good manager, and I simply managed my people. <laughs> when something didn't work, then I tried to motivate my people. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's sad true, but I'm not the only one. You know, I discovered that I'm not the only one. I asked Uncle Google, simply, the red line is the line when people believed in that HR means human relations. The blue line is how frequently People use the, fra uh, the phrase in the books, human resources. As you see, here we are in the 60s. Suddenly, people started to think that we should, not, we should forget about human relations. And here is one point. We all, I, I'm also uh, a guy from IT. And this is the moment when, in the early 80s, personal computers were introduced. And thanks to that, <laughs> thanks to that, resources can be managed even better. <laughs> there are no human relations anymore. Please, <laughs> please, I, I don't want to see it anymore. Please, uh, can you switch it off, <laughs> dear Uncle Gaggle? Yes. I was a manager. Suddenly I realized I'm in a big black hole, just like in a big elephant. Do you know Guy Kawasaki? Guy Kawasaki is an evangelist. Uh, he used to work for Apple as an evangelist, and in early 80s he evangelized about Apple all over the US. He said once, eat like a bird, shit like a, an elephant. And at, the moment, at that moment uh, in time, f a few years ago, I felt just like in the middle of that elephant, just like in a black hole. I was blaming other people. It's your fault. It's your it's fault of my wife, of my children. I was very angry. And yes, there is Google, there is also Amazon. I entered angry, anger, management. I was a manager. Anger is also a resource, so you can also man manage that. And then I found a book. It's called Self-Defeating Behaviors. As you see, I read it many times. <laughs> <laughs> but still, it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't work. Then I came across another book. It's called Leadership and Self-Deception. 
After reading that, I realized that I cheat myself. Small lies, sweet lies, white lies. And then I went to London, to one workshop, where I learned from Michael Lazen that the source, the source of the problem is that I didn't see people as people. I saw them as resources, as objects which are to be managed, motivated, moved from one place to another. And after that workshop, I came back to Warsaw. And you know what? I did one thing which saved my own company. Uh, we were just like in, w I have a company which is uh, funded by three people. And we were in a big discussion what should be done next. And then I looked at my, at my colleagues and said, you are my friends. And simply I looked at my colleagues as on people, uh, as on people. I, I saw human beings in, in my friends. And it's, it's the only thing which saved our company. And why I'm talking about resume? It's my resume. I used to hide behind my resume. When I was in a discussion with my colleagues at my previous workplace or in my company, I used to say, please take a look, I'm a manager. I have experience. And it happens all the time at companies and also at home. But in my case, when I have little kids, when my girl, uh, little Julia says, Daddy, I want milk, I cannot say, please take, take a look, I have a degree. I have a degree, I'm a manager. No, I have to see a person in her and help her. The same w is with my wife. And you know what? It was two months ago when I met one guy, Jerry Colonna from New York City. I asked him what stops young entrepreneurs from succeeding and he said, fear of failure, fear of learning that you are human. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>